Hello everyone, Teacup Tempest here, and today I'm going to be building a very modern-esque house. It's not going to be 100% modern, it's definitely going to have kind of my style mixed in there. But I was noticing how well, in Wednesday's video, yesterday's video, how well the quartz and like the warped and crimson half eyes look together as far as like the pattern goes and I wanted to play with that some more so in this build I'm going to be using smooth quartz and the stripped work hyphae as well as I know you see the door right there I'm not using that um but the roof is going to be like birch and spruce and then I'm going to have spruce like around the window I'm going to leave this up for a second and hopefully also have a little clip of what the build is going to look like as well as put some numbers in here for you. This is going to be a 5x5 five five build and I'm going to have inner walls with it. I'm keeping it fairly straightforward and simple and it's really not going to take a lot of, of like a variety of blocks. This is pretty straightforward. I may end up doing... A roof window, which I may end up doing some trap door, but we'll see. And it probably just be spruce. Um, but yeah, I just I thought this would look really well together, and I hope it turns out really well. This is going to be a little bit of a a build with me in a sense, but I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do with it. And I'm just going to give this a moment longer. Alright, so let's get into this. Let's bring up every pillar by five with our smooth quartz block. So starting in the front left, let's bring all this up by five and connect them at the top. And if you want, as you're going along, you can also connect them at the bottom by breaking out the three blocks there. also haven't really done the place for the door so let's do i actually kind of like that kind of really gives it that modern feel and then come in here with our glass you can use any color glass you want but i'm using the cyan glass and maybe yeah I'm seeing some stuff I can do with that. But yeah, let's continue bringing all this up by five. Now at this point, let's grab our stripped warped hype and start filling the areas in and make sure you're stacking them on top of one another so a, the grain is going upright, which is the opposite of this, but we'll roll with it. And let's do this all the way around, making sure we go upright. And when working with the crimson log and high bay like this, it's easier to fill in and then break out your windows. Oh, excuse me. And because this just makes it easier. I mean, yeah, because otherwise you'd have to do that, and then it's not going the right direction, so. Mm 
All right, and this is what we should have so far. Let's go in, break out the center two. And then I took the spruce there and did basically where the flat sides um, are facing toward the window and then did the opposite on each side. So right side, upside, right side, upside, right side, upside, and then a right side, upside to each side of the window. It is getting dark, so I'm going to pause and sleep. So maybe <laughs> I'll eventually get to a point in this world where it stops raining. All right, now let's continue. So upside right side upside break these two right side upside um right side upside right side and right side upside right side upside we are going to continue this pattern all the way around you can also as you're going along put in your glass as well you can do paint or full glass block it's whatever your preference is We got this all filled in. Let me put the glass in here. And this is what we should have so far. I'm really enjoying how this is coming out. Now let's work on the roof. We want to start with our birch and run this completely across with an overhang on each side. And then let's go to the back and do the same thing. Your roofs look better if you start to build them on the longest side of your build. So if you have a rectangle like this, then, uh, you know, you do it on the long sides. I'm doing a simple roof with this, so it's just a upside down stair and stair all the way to the top. And I like to make the frame of the roof first, so that way it, if you like mess up, you can fix it pretty easy. And also you get a chance to see the size of your roof and get an idea of whether it's like too big, too small, you don't like the shape of it, just, you know, any number of things. And it kind of gives you a good idea and a good place to easily fix anything. And then once you get here, I didn't explain, I was busy talking. Once you get here, you do an upside down stair and facing out from your build, place a right side up stair. Okay, now we have the frame. Let's go in with our spruce stair and fill everything in. I like to put roof windows in, but I do those after I get done filling in the roof. It just is easier to do.
And then, one other thing I didn't grab. So you'll need a birch slab. And run that across the top. Like so. Let's go fill in the other side. Great, and this is what we should have so far. Let's grab our smooth quartz. Actually, let's do the stripped work hyphae. I think that would look good. Let's go up two to the third, and then let's go over three. One, two, three. Break out three. Skip three so one two three break out three and should have three at the end now let's go in with our stripped uh warp type and bring it up to the rule of thumb is you want it to be snug up against the uh, like roof block here you don't want it here because you got a gap you want it here okay bring these up by two two sticking up above let's break out the three directly behind the pillars and then let's go in with our spruce there and start connecting this up a little bit. Break out the one in the middle there. Okay, let's do this side while we're here. Oops, I broke the wrong one. Okay, let's go in with our birch and really detail out this roof detail I apparently cannot talk today okay. oops keep falling out of the sky too and then of course do the same thing with the stair at the top and let's detail out this one and upside in and rice it up looking out from your build Grab your birch plank and fill it in. And there we have that. Let's see. Because if I had done quartz, I could have done. So let's actually do that. Let's do. I'll we'll probably leave it like that and just fill in our glass. Yeah. So just pop a quartz at the top and the bottom. And then fill in your glass. And we'll leave that like so. Let's go to the front side and do the same exact thing. So let's go up to the third row. Go over three. Break out three. Go over three break out three and then you should have three remaining grab your stripped warp hyphae and bring it up by two like so break out the three blocks directly behind the pillars grab your spruce and line this up 
And then now let's grab our birch and detail everything out where it's all going to go. And line uh, the slab until it connects and then let's do this side. your quartz and do like we did on the other side pop one in the top and the bottom and fill in the glass all right now we need to figure out what we want to do with the door exactly so let's see what walls do we have nothing i like so let's grab birch fence and then let's grab campfire, first trap door, and then I will come and do these end bits. And no, I totally didn't almost forget to do that. Three campfires, put them out, three trap doors, and then here we can break that out and I guess for now let's just do the birch like so and then do our fence like so. You can do it this way. I'm gonna play with this. I'm gonna pause and be right back. I have an, a vision in my head I wanna try out. All right, and I decided I want to go with this. I think it fits with the modern styling a little bit better. So let's do a smooth quartz slab. And like I said, the, the original way I had it is totally fine as well. This is your build, so do as you want with it. But but three quartz slab and a couple of birch fence and then the birch slab right there. And then let's see. I don't like this door. Let's do the birch door. See how I feel about that. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to do this end of it and I will be right back. All right, and I'm back and this is what I decided to do with the end of it. So let's go to the other side and I will show you how to make this. Let's start with our birch slab and run this across. And then let's grab our smooth quartz and run a complete line down the bottom. And then one here and one here. And then let's run that across. So that way we have that. Now let's grab our grass or dirt block, place that there, and put our trap doors around to make a window box. And then let's put in our glass. Easy as can be. And there is our complete outer structure for the build i'm loving how this has come out i'm going to pause do an interior and then be right back with you all right i am back 
for this particular build i didn't do a like practical interior i did a like just what would a modern house esque house look like on the inside if it was like irl so don't expect a storage system or anything like that just expect some pretty interior so we got a couple of uh residents that's probably going to be in my way and this is the interior i love the little modern kitchen and so do these villagers <laughs> And I love that I used a chain to kind of like hang some uh, shelving. I just filled it with plants and try to keep it kind of open and airy. You got a little desk here with your books. And I just, I'm in love with this little interior. And then back here, we can go upstairs and have a nice big old bedroom with the nice great carpet big old king size bed and just have a nice simple little area for ourselves i just absolutely adore the way this interior came out and I think that's all i've got for you for this build i hope you enjoy it i had a lot of fun making this i haven't quite ever made anything quite like this so it's always good to try new things i haven't put any plants in here so be sure to put some plants in there maybe do some azalea bush on either side of this i don't have one handy hold on I must fix that. Um, Azalea. So yeah, it's just like one on either side of the door would be pretty. And then I'd probably do one like over here. If Mr. Gollum isn't in my way. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah, isn't that lovely? I hope all of you are having a wonderful Thursday. I hope you enjoy this build and you found it helpful. That's all I've got for you. And yeah, just be sure to like and subscribe. I almost forgot to say it. But be sure to like and subscribe. I post Minecraft videos every Wednesday through Friday. And that's all I've got for you. Have a wonderful day. Until next time. Goodbye.